good afternoon from Afghanistan. We're currently in Helmand on our way to the Boast Castle. Uh, it's been uh, three hours on the road. The road trip from Kandahar to Helmand. And if we're talking about war and conflict, this is the location uh, that saw the most conflict, the most damage. Have you done your research on the castle itself? Yes, I have. Okay, then we'll talk about the castle as we get closer to When entering Helmand province, you need to have permission from Kabul to enter, and you also have to check in. And part of checking in is getting our own personal Taliban security guard, which sits in our car and follows us and dictates what I can film and what I cannot film. A little bit of a pain in the ass, but these are the rules and restrictions here in Helmand province. To the castle. Sure, we will. What's up? And he says you're not allowed to videotape. So I've been asked to stop recording already by our Taliban guard. A lot of rules and regulations in this part of Afghanistan. I'll try to sneak some videos and some photos, but I am definitely being watched. Now we are at Haleye Bost, uh, which translates to Bost Castle. And as you can see, uh, you know, take a shot of the arch itself. Uh, this place is famous for uh, a very special monument that we are about to visit just in, in a minute. It's an arch which dates, dates back to 11th century. And this whole entire vicinity uh, used to be an ancient uh, city. Uh, which was built around 3,000 uh, years ago. We got our Taliban friends Hello. following shortly behind us. Mm -hmm. So this in the middle has been built after the fact, no? Yes. Because the photos I see don't have... Don't have uh, yeah. Because I was... It was built to protect the art from falling apart. You yes. Know. This is like a dream. I finally made it to Afghanistan, but behind the camera, I'm not feeling well. I've been sick in bed for the last three or four days. Projectile vomiting and diarrhea. I locked myself into the hotel, shut all the blinds and slept. This is my first time out in days and I'm lacking energy, but I know that I don't want to miss the opportunity to visit such a historical location here in Afghanistan. Years ago. Can only imagine this was a street or a road. People walking in with their horses. Can only imagine what was on the other side. I think it is an entrance for the city. Yeah. But close your eyes for a moment and, and, and see it and feel it. Well, I'm glad they're doing some sort of. Uh, Maintenance, because look at this. I guess over the years, the graffiti. People etching their name. This 11th century decorative arch is famous for appearing on the 100 Afghani note. And the arch itself is part of the remains of an old mosque. I want to take some pictures in front, but we can do it on the way back. Where else should we go? Let's go up the hill. Let's go. In 2006, construction began on a cobblestone road to lead from the south of Lashkar Go to the arch. My time here in Afghanistan is coming to an end. I only have a couple days left before I make the journey back into Peshawar, Pakistan by land. And I'm already thinking about the next time I'll return because Afghanistan has a lot to offer and there is a lot more of this country that I must explore. So this is one of my final videos here in Afghanistan. I hope everyone's enjoyed the content. 
97% uh, of my viewers are non-subscribers. So if you like my content and appreciate the effort I put into my videos and subscribe to my channel because I got a lot more coming very soon. In 2021, the arch itself became home to hundreds of people who fled Taliban clashes. For those watching this video, if you guys can tell me anything more about this post castle, I have so many questions and there's so little information online. For example, what is this hole in the floor used for? Yes, for example. The entrance to the basement is from here. Also, this five or six story, big gigantic hole in the center of the castle. Any idea what it would be used for? I'm scared of heights. If you're curious, that high-pitched voice is Taliban soldiers at the bottom screaming up. I don't want to be responsible. <laughs> Let's go down. Yes, yes. We can find the stairways to... Well, he, where he's standing. Where he oh, just went. Well, we'll be I know. You're telling me. <laughs> okay. I think Zach's on the stairs. It's just dark. You think it's a point road, huh? Watch your steps. I nearly slipped. Just keeps going down.
Yep. Yeah. Where are you? I'm following you. You're on the stairs, right? I see you. Is this where you came out, or you kept going down? Yeah. <laughs> How tall are you? to take a picture. Okay, I just got to breathe for a second. I am ridiculously out of shape. I can't breathe. I'm melting. Zach, what are your thoughts? I can't even speak. I'm exhausted. I feel like <laughs> dying. I haven't eaten in I haven't eaten in three days. The Taliban there just run. Their shoes are not even fully on. And I can't breathe. Whew. Five minute break. Now once again, I did not create a conclusion to today's video, so it's going to be voice over video. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm excited to share with you more content, both from Afghanistan and from around the world. Stay tuned and have a wonderful day. Goodbye. That's rule number one. Stop. You don't point finger. <laughs> <laughs>